Hi, I'm Sandra. We're going to do a Pilates inspired workout today. No equipment necessary. Just roll out your mat. You could grab a cushion to sit on. Let's get started. So start by finding a comfortable seat on your mat. You can be propped up on a cushion if that's comfortable for you. Just putting aside the rest of the day, arriving here, letting yourself sink down into your cushion, onto your mat, taking some big breaths, thinking about the crown of the head reaching up to the ceiling. Roll your shoulders up and back and down. Engage core muscles. And you can do this a couple of different ways. You can think about slightly pulling the belly button in towards the spine, a little bit of a scoop into the lower abdominals. You could also visualize taking a belt or a um, strap around the waist and crossing in front. And imagine you're just pulling it a little bit tighter and you can feel yourself engage those muscles as we visualize that. Keeping all of that. Let's bring our arms out to a T. Palms are facing down. Shoulders relaxed, back and down. Bend your right elbow. We're going to twist to the right, twist towards the side of the bent elbow. Just going easy here. We're just getting warmed up. So twisting to the right and then back to center. Inhale at center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Again, same side. Back to center. We'll do one more here. Center, let's switch arms, extend that right arm, bend the left elbow, twist to the left, and center. And again, inhale, center, exhale, twist. Last one here. Nice work, bring your arms down, just shake it out. Just a reminder to always listen to your own body before you listen to my instructions. Go at your own pace, take breaks, take sips of water, feel free to modify. Bring your right arm only out to the side. Palm facing down, we're sitting nice and tall, core engaged, start with your inhale. As you exhale, bring that arm in front, across midline, and then rest your hand on the opposite knee. Pause here, and you could allow your back to round a little bit, bringing your chin towards your chest, bringing your forehead down just towards your knee, just gently. And then starting to inhale, sit up tall and bring that arm back out to the side. And we'll repeat same arm, crossing midline, hand on opposite knee, just allowing yourself to round forward, nice big stretch here. Sitting up tall, arm out to the side, just one more for this side. Coming up to that tall position, arm out to the side and bring your hand down. We'll do the other side, extending left arm out, starting with an inhale, exhale as the arm crosses midline, hand over top of your knee, just allowing yourself to round forward. Sitting tall, arm out to the side, big inhale, exhale, cross midline. Reaching out to the side and one more. Lifting up. Nice work. Bring your hands down. We'll roll the shoulders up and back and down one more time, just reminding ourselves to keep the shoulders back and down. And we're going to make our way to hands and knees. So if you are sitting up on a cushion, we can put that off to the side. We're coming to hands and knees, tabletop position, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips fingers spread wide and our head is in line with the spine so we're not having the head dropping down or looking forward. Head is an extension of the spine. 
Extend your right leg out behind you. Holding here. If you have balance, enough balance to lift your left arm, go ahead and lift the left arm out in front of you. You can always do this just with the leg or just with the arm. We're just going to pause here, have some full breaths, working on balance, strengthening back of the body. Keep your leg lifted behind you and bring the hand back down. Bend that right knee just so that it comes down to hover above the mat, not coming all the way down. And then lift the bent right leg out to the side, pause, extend that leg out to the side, bend your knee, knee comes down to hover, and extend out behind you, back to starting position. Bend the knee to hover, lift the leg out to the side, extend the leg, bend and lower, and out behind you. Bring the knee down, lift, extend, bend, lower, and behind. Keep going like this. So we're just alternating between extending the leg behind and then extending the leg out to the side. As the leg is moving through these positions, we're trying to keep the rest of the body stable. So working on keeping the Torso centered between the hands. Let's do one more round. Nice work. And you can bring that knee down and just allow your body to move in any way that feels good to you. You can roll out your wrist, shake out your arms, sway your hips. And we'll get ready to do the other side. So left leg is going to lift out behind you. Again, if you're feeling balanced here, lift your right arm, opposite arm and leg, lifted, hold, and continue to breathe. Keep the leg lifted, bring your hand down, and we'll go through that same flow, bending the knee to hover above the mat. Bring your bent leg out to the side, extend the leg out to the side. I'm going to have a little adjustment here. Bend, lower the knee and extend out behind you. Bend the knee to hover, lift to the side, extend the leg, bend, hover, extend behind. Keep going with this flow. Working on leg strength, particularly in the glutes, in all directions. Make sure you're breathing. The rest of the body is working on the stabilization. Let's do two more rounds. Nice work. And then you can bring the knee down. We'll do a puppy pose stretch. So walk the hands out in front. Just give a big step forward with your hands. And then you can let your torso fall down toward the mat in between the arms. Maybe the forehead comes all the way to the mat, but it doesn't have to. Just come to a comfortable position. Take a couple big breaths. And then lifting up, bring your hands back under your shoulders. And we're going to come into forearm plank. So down on your forearms. Stepping back, stepping on back onto your toes, make your body into a plank. Modification here is knees down, or you can have knees lifted into full plank. And we're just going to stay here and breathe for a count of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and knees down. Great work. Let's swing our feet forward. So our plank holds are great ways to work on our strength and endurance. All right, we're coming into boat position. 
So feet are on the mat, knees bent. Start here with a couple breaths. And we're going to lower onto our forearms behind us. So thinking about that core engagement, scoop in the belly, lifting the chest. Bring the soles of your feet to touch and then knees can fall out to the sides. So you're on the outside edges of your feet with the soles together. Keeping the, this leg position, lift one leg, extend out to the side, bend your knee and lower. Other leg, lift your leg, extend out to the side, bend and lower. And keep going like this, alternating sides. Feeling that engagement of the abdominal muscles, wide across collarbones as the legs are working. We'll do four more. One more for each side. Great work, lifting yourself back up. Soles of the feet back down on the mat, knees bent. We'll do a boat pose hold. So options, you can keep the feet down if you'd like, or in a moment we'll lift them. So thinking about core engagement, chest lifted, shoulders back, lean the torso back just slightly, keeping the back neutral, reach the arms forward, palms facing in. Keeping all of this option to lift the feet, balance, hold, and breathe. Staying here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And feet come down, hands under knees, have a breath. And we're going to make our way onto our back. So you can start by reaching the arms forward and then just with control, rolling yourself down. Feel free to use your hands to guide you onto the mat. Arriving here on our back. You could put your hands on your belly or on your rib cage. Tune back into your breath. A couple big breaths here. Arms alongside the body. Palms are down. Our next exercise is hundreds. We're going to do five rounds with feet down pause and then option to lift the feet for an additional five rounds. Always checking in with your neck. We don't want to feel strain in the neck. You can put one hand behind your head once we come into upper body curl or just go ahead and put your head down and do the exercises with your head down. So start with an inhale and as we exhale, upper body curls up and over. Eyes are looking down at your legs or down at your belly. If you start looking up at the ceiling, put the head down. Lift your arms, palms are facing down. We're pumping arms. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in, out, in, out. Pause here. You can either keep the feet down or lift your feet, knees bent, keep pumping arms. Breathing in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, and out. Breathe in, and out, in. Out, in, out, one more round, in, and out, two, three, four, five, and feet come down, and head comes down. You can take a moment to bring both knees in towards your chest. If you like, have a rock side to side. Back to center, and feet down to the mat. Interlace your hands behind your head. Let your head rest into your hands, elbows out wide. 
slide your left leg out on the mat. Start with your inhale. As we exhale, upper body curls up and over, looking down, and bring that bent right knee in towards your chest. Pause here, and then twist to the right, little twist. Back to center, head down and foot down. And we're gonna repeat that same side. Curling up, knee to chest, twist to the right, back to center, foot down and head down. And again, curling up, knee to chest, twist, center, and lower. Keep going, same side. We'll do two more on this side, curling up, twist, center, lower, last one here. Nice work, just rest your head down into your hands as we switch legs, slide out the right leg, bend the left knee. Here we go again, upper body's curling up as the knee comes towards the chest, little twist to the left back to center, head down and foot down. Head lifts, foot lifts, twist, center, lower. Again. Keep going, you got it. Two more, nice and slow with control working our abdominal muscles, working the side of the waist obliques. Nice work, bring everything down and you can slide both legs out on the mat, bring your arms overhead, stretch your arms overhead, have a nice big full body stretch, big breaths. Slide your feet in, bending knees. And let's bring both knees in towards the chest again for a moment. We're gonna make our way to seated. Two options, you could roll over onto your side and bring yourself up to seated. Or if you like, you can rock like a ball lengthways on your spine to rock yourself up to seated. And if you're doing that, you could have hands under knees, curling up, forehead towards your knees, and then little rock back and forth until you find yourself coming all the way up. From here, we're going to meet in kneeling position. You can always put a cushion under your knees, fold your mat over, make sure your knees feel good here. And then fingertips behind your ears, elbows out wide. Take your right leg out to the side, land on the sole of your foot. We're gonna side bend away from this extended leg. So right leg out to the side, little side bend over to the left, and then lift back to center. And again, little side bend back to center, working the sides of the body. Keep going. keeping the elbows out wide. Next time we side bend over, let's pause here. Reach your arms out to the sides, out to a T, and then fingertips back behind the ears. We're staying over on the side as we're reaching the arms out and bringing the fingertips back. Keep this going. Next time the arms come out to the side, tip all the way over and land on your bottom hand, top hand onto your hip, lift and lower that extended leg. Two more. Awesome work, bring the foot down, lift yourself all the way back up to center, bring your knee down, just shake out your arms, roll out your shoulders, getting ready for the other side, fingertips behind the ears, chest lifted, elbows wide, left leg out to the side, land on the sole of your foot. We're doing those side bends away from the extended leg, side bend over and lift up. 
Again, working the muscles, the side of the body, side of the waist. Having a nice stretch at the same time. Next time we side bend over, let's pause, reach the arms out to the sides and then bring the fingertips back and keep going. And you're breathing. Last one, keep the arms extended, tip all the way over onto the bottom hand, top hand onto your hip. We're going into lift and lower the extended leg. Look inside of the hip here. Two more. Foot comes down, lift all the way up. Bring your knee down. Again, shake everything out. Come to seated. We're gonna roll back down onto our back. So you could have knees bent, reach your arms forward with control coming all the way back down. Nice. Walk your feet close to your body and then bring your feet to touch. The inside edges of your feet are touching. Soles of the feet are down on the mat. Arms alongside your body, palms down, wide across collarbones. From here, keeping the uh, feet, the inside edges of the feet touching, let the knees fall out to the side. We're gonna do a variation of bridge in this position. Pushing into your feet, lift your hips, pause at the top. We're keeping the knees wide, feet together. Have a couple breaths here and then slowly lower down. We'll just do two more like that. Take your time, lifting up to bridge. Hmm. Lowering down. Last one here. And lower. Nice work. Let's now walk the feet wider out towards the edges of the mat. Bring your arms out to a T. We'll do some windshield wiper knees. Let both knees sway over to one side and then bring them to center. Inhale, exhale over to the other side. Just follow your breath. Just gently allowing the knees to sway side to side. It's a nice reset dynamic stretch into the hips, massaging the lower back. One more to each side. And back to center. And we'll make our way onto our side. Feel free to grab a sip of water if you'd like here. And coming onto the side of the body when you're ready. We're going to be doing a modified side plank. So you're on your bottom forearm, bottom knee is bent, top leg extended. You can have um, your top hand on your hip. We're going to alternate between lifting and lowering the hips and lifting and lowering the top leg. So go ahead, lift the hips. And as you're lowering the hips, top leg lifts. And as the top leg lowers, lift the hip. So keep going like this, lift the leg, lift the hips, keep it going. And we'll do one more each way. Awesome, nice work. Support your head. You can either have your elbow bent or if it's more comfortable, bring your head right down onto that bottom arm. Find a comfortable position. We'll start with the um, a little bend in the bottom leg, just, just a tiny bend and top leg is straight and hovering. Reach your top arm forward, palm facing down. So it's just straight out in front of you, palm facing down. We're gonna do arm and leg move, but we'll start with just the leg. 
So bend that top knee, bring it towards the chest, and then extend the leg. And bend the knee towards the chest and extend. Let's add the arm in. As the knee comes towards the chest, bend the elbow in towards the side of the body, and then leg extends as the arm reaches forward. Knee comes in, elbow comes in, leg extends, arm reaches. Keep going. So you've got that little bend in the bottom leg helping to stabilize here. Moving the arm and leg. A little bit of brain and body work. Good for our brain when we have to coordinate, do something new. We'll do two more. Awesome. And make your way to your other side. Starting in that modified plank position on your forearm, bottom knee bent, top leg extended, hand on top hand on your hip. We're alternating between hip lift and top leg lift. So go ahead and lift your hips, and as you lower your hips, your leg lifts. Hips and leg. Keep it going. Full body work here. We can get a great workout, not needing any equipment, just in the comfort of your home. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Keep it going. One more each way. Awesome work. Extend both legs. Support your head with that bottom arm, whichever way is comfortable for you. Put a little bit of a bend in that bottom leg. Top leg is hovering. Top arm reaches forward, palm facing down, starting with the leg move only. We're bringing the knee to the chest and then extend the leg and knee comes in and extend, adding the arm, pulling the elbow into the side of the body and extend. Bending elbow and knee, extending arm and leg. Keep going. You got it, nice work. Be proud of yourself for showing up rolling out your mat, doing this workout. We'll do two more. Great work. All right, let's go back to hands and knees. And from hands and knees, we're going to take another forearm plank, hold. Again, we're gonna hold for a count of eight, working on our full body strength and endurance. Come down onto forearms, step your toes back, make your body into a plank. Option for knees down, whichever way you're breathing. Staying here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and lower yourself all the way down onto your belly, forehead down on the mat, arms reaching overhead. We're just gonna lift the head slightly. So you're still looking down at the mat. You've just lifted the head slightly. Lift your right arm, bring your right arm a little bit more out to the side, back to center, and lower. Lift the left arm out to the side, back to center and lower. One more each side. Lift the arm out to the side, center and lower. Other side. Nice work. And then keeping your arms overhead, we're going to now do the legs. Lift one leg, Bring it a little more out to the side, back to center and lower. Other side, lift the leg out to the side, back and lower. One more for each side with the legs. Nice work. And now we're going to do opposite arm and leg at the same time. So lift opposite arm and leg, both go out to the side, back to center, lower. Other side, lift out, back, 
and lower one more for each side strengthening the back of the body nice work and everything comes down hands under your shoulders lift yourself back up to hands and knees swing your feet forward we're going to roll down onto our back you could have legs extended this time to roll all the way down into a full body stretch. Go, go ahead and make your way onto your back. Full body stretch. Notice your breath, big breaths. And then you can slide your feet in, bend your knees. We're coming into our cool down portion of our workout. You can bring both knees in towards your chest, one hand on each knee, and let's circle the knees, both knees going in the same direction, circle the knees, use your hands as a guide, pause and go the other way. Come to center, let the feet come down. Let's take our right ankle over top of the left knee and you can use your hand as a guide just to let that knee fall out to the side. I'm gonna take a restorative position here. So keeping the legs in this figure four position, just bring the arms right out to a T, open the arms, palms to the ceiling, and then come back to your breath. Focus on your Full breaths, breathing all the way to the bottom of the lungs, letting all of the air come out of the lungs with your exhale. And as you're focusing on your breath, just let your knee fall out to the side. Let your hips and your back sink into the mat. Your arms are heavy. Nice stretch across the chest and the front of the shoulders. And then you can bring your foot down. We'll switch sides, left ankle over the right knee. You could take your hand again and just help that knee come out to the side gently. And coming back to our restorative position with both arms out to the side, palms facing up. And again, focus on your breath. Bring that foot down. Take your time to roll onto your side. We're gonna come back up to seated. So you could find your cushion again if you like. Come back to your comfortable seated position. We'll finish with three big breaths together. Inhale the arms to the ceiling. Exhale, arms down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Really big breath here. Let it go. And thank you so much for joining me today. I'm always so happy to see you here <laughs> and know that you're here joining me. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Um, reminder to subscribe, give this video a like, take good care.